welcome to a shop video. Today, tool carts. Every now and then, you just have to upgrade something in the shop. And today, I'm going to upgrade my tool cart. This is what I've been using previously. This is uh, just a part of some craftsman set. It was uh, a part of one of many of my grandfather's units. And I just kind of threw it together and that's just kind of what I've been using. It has two drawers here. They're, they don't have bearings or anything. The casters are kind of wonky and whatnot, but you know, it's a cart that you just kind of throw around and hack around. And it holds some fluids in the bottom. I have a gloves holder. I think my box is empty. It has a few basic items in there. Uh, some sockets here in this drawer. But you can see my work surface here. Oh. Oh. There went a microphone. Yep, that's fun. Let's put you guys back on there. There we go. That never happened. Um, but there's not much room to really work on anything up here, and it just gets cluttered real easy. So, uh, in an effort to help up with uh, some upcoming videos that are going to be a little bit larger projects. Uh, I got this tool cart here from Harbor Freight. This is their new, uh, I don't know, Matco style tool cart where it's all drawers. It's a little taller. The top deck is a little deeper than the uh, standard five drawer cart. Um, it has side bumpers already attached to it and I don't know, a whole bunch of other different features. But uh, I'm here to go ahead and do an unboxing on this and show you all uh, what all there is to it, what it's about, and whether or not maybe this tool cart is going to be the right purchase for you. And I'll explain my reasoning on why I thought this was the right purchase for me. So uh, let's take a look into it and see what we can find. Well, this has been really, really cool. Uh, unboxing went pretty smooth. I mean, the, unlike the uh, five and four drawer carts, the whole thing is just kind of already assembled and ready to go. All you really do is put the wheels on it and open it up, and that's that's all there is to it. Uh, I mean, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a closer look and uh, talk about some of the unique features to this box and some of the difference between it and the lesser carts and see if maybe this is the cart for you. One thing to note when buying this cart is going to be, of course, like any other toolbox, your body height. I am uh, 5 foot 11 and a half. I'm like right under 6 foot. And this box is a little bit taller than the other boxes. The other boxes come up to kind of somewhere in this range, not as low as this top drawer, but kind of 
in this range somewhere. So you're gaining a good five inches, I would say, with having this box. And this floor in this top drawer, or top section, whatever you want to call it, is set a little bit deeper, uh, but it's nice you have in your arms here, you're not quite as strenuous and it doesn't feel to me like you're looking down quite so far and you're not hunching your back quite so far. So I do like that about this box. Um, the other thing too is if we move on and move up here to the top bay. All right, let's talk about this top bay for a little bit. This is a significant upgrade over the other designs. Uh, the first thing I really notice is its depth. It is so, there, there is so much room in here. Take my cheap tape measure here, and we're looking at six and three quarters for total depth. You can fit some really tall, awkward items in here and still be able to close this lid down, no problem. Um, the other thing I noticed too is uh, really cool over the older designs is the lock unlock. And maybe that seems kind of standard, but the other ones, they lock and unlock by using the lid pushing down on a couple plungers here that then lock the drawers. Now, let's say for some reason, in your particular setting, you don't really have to use this top section very much, and you want the drawers accessible uh, and use the top surface as a work surface or something like that. You can swing this lid down and leave this unlocked and still be able to access your drawers and work with your tools in your cart while working on top of it on top of the lid, which I find to be a really cool feature. I mean, I don't think most people use it that way, but it is a really nice, thoughtful design to put that in there so that way you do have that option if you need it for some reason. The other thing that is special about this and uh, the lady at Harbor Freight went ahead and pointed this out to me is it has this metal plug right here. That is of course a power grommet, which is not seen in the other carts. So that way if you want, you can get one of those magnetic power strips or something and run that right through here, set it up somewhere and you can set up chargers and stuff. And that combined with the depth, you can have those chargers with those really tall batteries, six, eight amp hour, whatever it is, and still be able to close the lid down. So again, very thoughtful design here. And I do really also might point out, it might be a small detail, but I find it really, really nice, is this top edge right here at the front. It's curved over and flattened. So you have uh, a flat surface here where when you go up to your cart and you're leaning on it like I am here on the side, which uh, they don't have it on the sides, but at least they have it on the front. You're not having just this plain edge going and digging into your arm. You you can actually rest on there kind of comfortably as if you're leaning on a bedside or something like that. So that's a neat feature. Other than that, it's cool. The uh, holes along the side for your long screwdrivers and pry bars or whatnot, all of that on the side is completely enclosed. So it's not exposed to anything. It just hides in the side there. So that's really cool. Um, Hopefully you don't drop anything in there because that might be a disaster. I don't know if it goes straight to the floor or not. It might, but I wouldn't be trying to find out. So I guess be careful of that, but it is nice that it is enclosed. So moving on. Moving on, we're talking about the drawers. These are some cool drawers. There's a couple little small things that really make a world of difference when it comes to drawers. One, I love the configuration of just all large drawers. That lets you fit whatever you want and you don't have that weird two small drawers, one big drawer, and then a medium sized drawer and then a large drawer. It's all the same all the way until the bottom, which of course you have an extra large drawer. So these top five drawers are all the same. So that way as you move around your tools and maybe you want to switch your drawers around, you don't have to think about the different drawer sizes. They're all the same. You can mix and match it however. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's number one. Number two, big thing for me, the latches. And I, I kind of had to come to terms with this because the first few that I tried, they weren't really working as well as they were supposed to. I've used snap-on boxes in the past that have the type of latches that this have and they work a lot better. This one doesn't work as good as a snap-on does, but it still does the job and I still like it now that I've kind of 
gotten a hold of a couple good ones. Uh, the store I ended up picking this one up, it had one that was working properly, and uh, so far this new one is working properly. So uh, I'm good with it as long as it's working. I don't know how long it'll last, but we'll see. It's just a plastic rail with little notches all the way across it, so that way if you look at this little plunger here, let me zoom you in, take a close look at that plunger there, and watch my finger. I can open it right there, right up front, like you would on the other drawer, but I can also do it from anywhere, all the way down at this end, open her up. It doesn't matter where you are, you can always grab and open that up. And it closes and latches just like the last one. So if, you're, if you have uh, one drawer open, you know, if the, there's a lot of weight in it and for some reason your cart's trying to tip over, the rest of the drawers aren't going to swing open and knock the whole thing over. So they're held in there good. And then pop a latch and out they come. So, you know, that's a big improvement over having only the one notch and you have to do it on that notch. And especially when they had the, the two separate drawers in the middle, one latch is on one side, the other latch is on the other side, and then on the bottom mill is on one side and it was just... It seemed kind of awkward and weird to me. So anyways, last feature that I really, really like about these is a lot of toolboxes. They open up just like you see here. Zoom that out just a bit. This is how they open up. And, you know, you have plenty of drawer space, but you do have this little section right back in here where here's drawer, here's roof. You know, if you have set up sockets back there, you can't pull them off your pegs because of that roof. These drawers, not the case. They pull all the way out, just like the Icon boxes and any other high-end box. They pull completely flush there so you can have a socket rail all the way at the back and you're still able to pull those out and use them. So those are my three biggies for the drawers themselves. Well, now that you've seen this tool cart and you've seen some of the features of it and uh, what I liked about it, um, maybe it's time for you to look at a couple of videos of the other types of carts and decide for yourself what's going to work best for you. This is regularly $699, uh, $700. And currently there's a coupon right on the website. Uh, I didn't have to have a membership or any of that kind of stuff and I have to get a coupon in the mail. It's right there on their website uh, or right on the app I think it actually was if you just download the app. The coupons are there. $4.99 for this guy. $499 and I think that is a fantastic price. If you want to get one of these at uh, Matco or Max, Snap-on, any of them, you're paying well over a thousand dollars or more. So for 500 bucks, I mean, it is, it is equally as good, except for the drawer slides, in my opinion. That's the only thing that I can really tack them on, is these slides are just, they're not, or the, the latches, I mean, are just not built quite as well. I'm sure the bearings and whatnot are not quite as strong either, but they seem really solid for the size drawers they are. I mean, this is a tool car. You really don't have to go too crazy to be able to support plenty of pools in a drawer that's only 30 inches long or so. And I guess before I cancel it out, I'll go ahead or uh, finish off the video, I'll go ahead and give you those dimensions real quick. The drawers, which are going to be all the same, 27 and 5 eighths. Your depth is going to be 19 and a quarter if you include this little tiny underneath the lip right there. And your depth on these drawers are going to be three and three quarters. You could stretch it to four if you go over this edge, but you're not going to hit the ceiling there, if that makes sense. So up to four inches max in these drawers, and you'll be able to clear the top. The bottom drawer, the only difference is it's going to be a little bit deeper. And of course it has dual ball bearings. It has slides on both sides. Um, and it comes in six and three quarters and if you want to go to the roof you can do up to seven I would say it's a safe bet seven inches on the bottom drawer uh, the casters are greasable they do have the uh, fittings on them so in case you wanted to know they do 
come in black, which is cool. And these are, of course, already pre-blacked out, unlike the uh, standard carts. You have to buy that blackout trim kit. I like that this cart just kind of automatically comes with the features you kind of want. The blackout trim, the big bumpers, all that kind of stuff is kind of cool that already comes with. So, anyhow, I'm hoping this makes a really big difference in doing our uh, projects that we're about to start working on for Season 2. And... You'll see it in the background, I suppose. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my tools. And before I cut this video off, I'll go ahead and briefly uh, show you how I've set this toolbox up. So, stay tuned. Alright, my card is loaded up with most of my basic essentials. Let's take a look. Um, I had room to fit a lot, really, just for one uh, spot here. In my top, I have... You know, your standard half three-eighths quarter sockets. Uh, I use these swivels fairly often, so I threw them in there. Uh, I just have this one series of standard quarter inch because some things use quarter and uh, sometimes you just need extras. So there's those. Same with, uh, I have two sets of quarter inches in here. <clears throat> just my regular go-to ratchets in here. Uh, my impact ratchet some extensions back there, some long, really long quarter inch extension back there uh, for getting hoses and such. Uh, I put picks here in the side. I usually have to use those pretty frequently. There's some pry bars in here. Uh, I really, really love this screwdriver set from Harbor Freight, these green ones. I have the uh, Icon set, but I've actually found I really enjoy these. They have everything you need, and being on the stand, I've managed to not lose them. I know some are missing right now, but I know where they are, so they're not lost. But I've managed to not lose these like I normally do my screwdriver sets, and they have held up. I've been using them on everything, and they've taken quite a bit of beating. The only thing is their tops have faded a little bit, but really they have not gotten torn up or anything, so... Really dig that, and for 30 bucks, can't beat it. If I break one, I just buy another. So I'm good with that. <clears throat> have some uh, mirrors and small picks and magnets and stuff like that. Uh, I like that this end is uh, just perfect size to fit a bunch of cans in here. So I got all my regular cans. I have this set up with the lid permanently open. This is my home garage, so I'm not really worried about closing the lid all that much. I can just leave it open all the time my usual light that I go to. Um, heading down to the my first drawer, uh, I, I mean this cart has a lot of space so I'm not really gonna put everything I have into it. I'm just gonna put in what I normally use and then I can add to it later which is nice but I got my regular uh, metric wrenches, my ratchetings, uh, stubbies. That's kind of really all you need I feel like and yeah, still getting used to those lashes. Pliers, I mean, uh, probably some jaw pliers I could throw in here, but that's really all I use for pliers. Um, you know, some long guys. Uh, these snappies, I mean, this design, it doesn't even have to be snap on. Just anything with this uh, kind of, it's sort of like this weird mixture between a needle nose and a regular plier, and that just works for everything. One of these, you can cut stuff with it, so that's nice. Oil, fil oil filter vice grip, regular vice grips. I'll probably throw some more in there, but you know, they're everywhere because they're vice grips. Uh, empty drawer, empty drawer, and hammer drawer. Just some regular hammers and empty drawer. So. A lot of space to expand but I'm going to start using it. This is pretty much everything I had in here. Um, I just have like some zip ties and that kind of junk to throw in. That's, that's really all I had in this cart. I mean there's some extra fluid down there but the, that's really it. So I fit everything I had in there. I threw a bunch more and I still have a ton of room so um, I will likely expand this as I realize more and more kind of what I end up feeling like I need to have in this cart but in either case I have the room to do it so that's really nice so let's draw some conclusions here all right so final thoughts again $4.99 with the coupon I don't think you can beat that anywhere uh, I think it's 
pretty good quality wise I mean I see a lot of attention to detail here that's not normally in Harbor Freight products this is clearly a step up from the uh, other cart both just in the design of it but also uh, in quality and I mean again the amount of storage space you have is just it, there's there's a ton of capacity here so you could do a lot out of this one single uh, small box that can fit virtually anywhere and all all four casters are 360 casters so uh, you don't have that kind of shopping cart feel and again just decide for yourself I mean do you use do you use tools enough in your home garage uh, to justify needing an expensive more expensive cart but I mean again $499 that's it's not much money for something that you know especially if you do have a home garage maybe you don't use it that often that just means this will last you you know till the end of your life you know this that's kind of the kind of stuff I like to invest in is stuff that is gonna stick around with you forever and this is one of those pieces that you know it can probably last forever uh, you get the $219 cart That'll last a few years, maybe uh, less than that if you are working every day in a shop. And in a shop, you know, you'll get you can get ten years out of this, where you can only get you know maybe four or five out of the five drawer cart. It just depends, you know, what do you want to do? How do you want to spend your money? But you know, you know everything about this cart now, so you can figure that out. And uh, if you're following my channel, uh, you'll see me be using it in the future in future videos. So uh, maybe I'll update this uh, in a few months and uh, show you what I've changed and uh, any problems I've run into and any stuff like that. But for now, I think that's going to wrap this up. See you on the next episode.